fall from being non-aligned issue. No, but a paladin would say that I would take the lawful side and if, right. so if, we failed the, if Judge was still here and we failed the diplomacy check, Judge would not be continuing to venture. He would refuse yeah, to go further. It's just that simple. Exactly. Yeah, it's not hard. We would end the. Like, we would end it it's early. not even the diplomacy check, guys. I mean, you kind of maybe pass that. The issue is they don't want anybody opening the door. They're here to make sure it's sealed permanently. Mm. And, that's and a their, would want that's that. That's like that's their okay. only contingent on letting you pass is well, what, you agree what to help them against the not, Protians and don't. What would make you ask to not just go against judge's wishes? It, we wouldn't be able to continue onward. Wait, so he would his his camera camera like, You on? find a Mission way to do it. it. I was like, you I was eating. I could turn it back on. I know that's fine. It's just all the cameras are slightly shifted, but that's cool. All right, guys, we are back. Of course, things are getting stranger and stranger. We're still mid combat. Turns out, Thrain will fall infinitely into the chaos. He can't stop it. We've worked it out. He's doomed. Um, <laughs> at the end of this round, scrims will disappear, and in two more rounds, Thrain's going bye bye as well. Aster, you're up. I'm casting fog cloud on this entire area. Uh, no, I have an ally in there. Yeah. But in, you are so? you're doing that purposely to fuck with your party. I need to suffer. Fine, I just move here and kill this thing. Level has completely destroyed this party. <laughs> you miss with both shots. <clears throat> there. Uh, you kill him. This dude over here is like, hey, that's cool. You guys want to join Team Chaos? Yes. Yes. All right. Why don't you go to this room that I'm going to describe? You go left, down, down, right, right, up. Then you just destroy some uh, inevitable generators, and we'll be able to flood Protean dudes all over the level. You cool with that? Sure. Yes. Excellent. I'll let you open the doors afterwards, bro. I know where the key is. Erebus, you're up. So he's instructed us to leave the room, go down and back to the main room, and open some other doors? Then to go around <laughs> and then up. Okay. And then he'll let us open this door, which is... No, he'll let you open this door. Oh. You know, the giant door on the floor. That we're supposed to open, and then people are killing these proteins <laughs> because they want us to do the thing we wanted to do. Yeah. Hey, bro. I can't explain it. <laughs> okay. Well, so I. What will... are you doing? Well, I I'm gonna tell. To. I want them to explain it. My yeah. explanation is: the closer you get to chaotic evil, the worse of a choice it is to side with. <laughs> well, my explanation, people... or what I'm gonna do, is uh, do what he asked me to do. Okay. And I'm going to ask him to, uh, hey, one of my friends flew into or, or fell into, I guess, the abyss up there. Okay, he's like, yeah, sure. Assuming that I don't walk into the next room and see you guys butchering my brother, I would totally be up for saving him by going into the maelstrom and bringing him back. Go ahead. Yeah, you're totally not <laughs> killing my brother over there, are you? <laughs> I'm no, sure no, my don't opinion that. won't immediately change. Destroy the that. evidence quickly. <laughs> no, destroy them all. About about that. <laughs> you know what? Why don't you go in there anyways? Way more I don't, than six seconds. That I don't know like what's going. I don't know what's going on in there. I can't see. Sorry. All right, he's like, okay, well, I. Our deal is contingent on certain events, which may or may <laughs> he starts giving you the chaotic oath. Oh, <laughs> um, no, no more than six seconds. It wouldn't be chaotic lack of oath. <laughs> no, no, chaos can still make oaths like I'll kill you or I'm crazy. But they can freely back it down on those oaths yeah. if they feel like it. <laughs> That's why it's That's a just, chaos oath. It's yeah, you should probably just go into their room, though. Well, Erebus, what are you doing? You said you would just want me to leave. Yeah, he wants you to go destroy their shield generators. Just go do that. Well, it's yeah. technically their jamming device, but this is basically the Battle of Endor right now. I can't figure <laughs> out which side's which, but there's definitely jammers <laughs> activated. There's, there's, the, uh, there's the Sith. There, uh, I mean, there's the Empire. There's the rebel Rebels. And then there's the guy who just want to kill everything for some reason. You can see why those, I'm confused. Those douches. 
Uh, All right, is that your double move, Erebus? Yeah, I told him I'm going to go do it. All right, Thrain, you're falling. Line. While you're falling, you still have your bow that you never let go of, so you <laughs> can still technically shoot this guy. Can I? Yeah. Uh, it, I, I think you can fly. Don't. Don't. Yeah, no, that you're move falling up. faster, and you can't get up fast enough to save yourself. But it's 60 feet. So, so oh fall, I fell 60, 60 feet. Fly, right? Right. And oh, yeah, you could. If all you did was fly, yes, you might. Yeah, all I do is wait, fly. Wait, wait, does it take an action to activate? Yes. Hang on, let me see. It activates Probably standard, on. move action, fly, and then he has one more round after that because it would be the Let's third round to get more. out. And he would yeah. get up because he'd get up 60 feet. Okay. He'd be up yeah. 90 feet from his current 60 foot down position. Fly on command, mm -hmm. you've fallen. Can, can you, uh, like, speed fly? Like, you can run? Normally, but unless you have a good enough fly skill check to be able to fly straight up. There's well, walls fly, and stuff. Fly is 60 feet. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think he's good. He's got he's a good. ring of feather fall. Yeah. Which is limiting him. I'm yeah, just trying to see if I can find this dungeon. All right, Thrain. Somehow, every five seconds, the situation changes chaotically. <laughs> you're in this quantum superposition where you're both dying and not dying, but apparently we've now solidify it you're definitely not dying <laughs> you are however going to need to spend the next two rounds flying up to the ledge and grabbing it okay. before you disappear all right and i'm also going to change my animal focus so that i can climb but i don't know if that's going to help okay oh right. i'm gonna see if i can change my animal focus to fly better are you swift action I think. to do anything sorry are you telling battle cat to do anything um I don't know if Battlecat can do much. You could jump right over now. to that. Uh, whoa, Cat, stop attacking that. Hey! <laughs> no, I'm going to tell Battlecat to just like, back up a little bit because he has no way of doing anything if he falls. Like, I was lucky. Back up, Battlecat, back up. Okay. <laughs> lucky, yeah. That guy's going to attack Gekido. It goes before me. Yeah. Actually, no oh, balls. Screw it. Battlecat jumps and attacks. <laughs> Oh, no. Are you sure? Is that what you're gonna have happen? <laughs> squeeze yeah, out of the ledge. Please don't. Oh. Hey, is there a squeeze on the ledge? Isn't there a place? Yeah, you can. Make your acrobatics check to jump. Yeah. Battle right. cat will fall in the void as well. That's okay, man. Battle cat is like if scrims went down, battle cat is not gonna be like animal companions, man. Loyalty. <laughs> you guys are, you guys are literally being the biggest. Make just... an acrobatic check. Hey, Aster, we learned from the best. Uh, battle cat skills, where is it? Yeah, here we are. Yeah, I've protected my dinosaur. You guys have, like, abandoned oh. them to the... Uh, We're talking about that one, that one lawful thing up a few levels. I know. Oh, yeah. He definitely falls to his inevitable death. Ah. Uh, battle cat doesn't jump across? <laughs> with no. the running stuff? You forgot that he has oh. to make a running jump start. So can't he, he do did. that? He did. I thought that was what he was doing. Yeah. Back up you, and go. Do you have an order that would allow him to make a run and jump? We can talk. Like, in a sense, Battlecat can telepathically is speak to me. Is there a trick? Yeah. That tells do you have a trick that would... Up. Is he intelligent enough to know yeah, how to a, do it? Yeah, he's a plus three intelligence as well. I... I'm not accepting this. And he's got, like, a hundred tricks. I don't know how many tricks he has. Like, it's... There's no trick for back up, jump. run, and jump across the canyon. He is in the pit. But here's the final blow against you. You have to move into this guy's square in order to do it, and you failed to make okay. that check. All right. Bye-bye, Battlecat. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Uh, I don't know why you sent Battlecat in there. No. Yeah, yeah I didn't get that either. But it's why? your role play, man. Valcat is not gonna. He hits this guy, man. He. Messes why? Scrims. Well, scrims, because man. he tossed the rain in there. Okay. And scrims. Is this guy? What's this guy doing? He's five foot stepping back. Uh, as he does so, it provokes, and I will follow with him. Sure. Go ahead. I will claw him. Out of Brex range. Yep. Uh, let's Can Valcat make a climb check? Actually, claw. no, he never make. Damage. I'd Jesus. offer to let him make the climb check, but I but, uh, doubt he can, can do it. it. <laughs> yeah. Damage penalty included. Okay, I think he's going to live through that. Check. He has 18 health. Boom. Suck it. He has oh, one yeah, health. Plus, he has fast healing, so he gets some more back. And he's going to make those four attacks. 
Oh, I get a lance attack. Mm. Nope, he's oh, out of he your range. Five foot, five foot stepped, he didn't move. I still get it, though. So oh, yeah, you're right. You're a golden legionnaire. He wasn't out of his range at the damage. time. All right, he dies. Oh. Heck you know. Yay. Uh, now don't attack right. the guy coming in. Um, you're still falling to your death, Rain. Yeah, you, it takes your next turn getting up out. So I think the plan is we shove the corpse off the island and we just... You can still see the things thing. that are falling down there, by the way. That If we throw it off that side of the island, so the island's blocking the view. Right. Uh, the island is, going is only to... like five foot deep. You ah. can see it, there's not like this infinite <laughs> chain of island down there. <laughs> I don't understand. Should I destroy Are the you skull? pushing him off, and then you're gonna side with this chaos guy to do something? I don't Can I grab that? Only until kill the he other guy. brings I, Skirms back. You know what? We'll just fucking play it out. We'll you know what? fucking Can play I, it I, out. Can I, I grab Battlecat as he does? Skirms is already gone. Hey, I have gone. another level 13. So what the hell? <laughs> what do you I have here, level 13. Skirms I'm gonna jump to here, and I'm gonna continue moving up to this skull. My acrobatics cannot fail with a one. Let's see. Up to here. Past blah, the blah. blah. This thing. cavern seems to have lost most of its floor and ceiling to the endlessly pink sky with the multicolored whirlpool that is in the air. There is to the west a bleached serpentine skull several feet in diameter that sits in an alcove above a narrow ledge. Two red tulips are growing through its vacant eye holes. Honey glass bottles filled with liquid and stacks of small stones ring the skull. I move up to it. Okay. <laughs> right, you move up to it. Anything else? Did you have to double, was a double to get there? Okay. Yeah, I did. All right, Breck. Um. So, Thrain, are you going to be able to... You can make it up without any assistance from me, right? I think so, yeah. Can I catch uh, Battlecat as well? <laughs> well? He's falling. Is it possible? No. No? It, if you take the time to stop and catch Battlecat, you're not okay. going to be able to make it up in time. Well, as Battlecat falls, we high-five each other. As <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> high-five, buddy. <laughs> Why did you do that to Battle Cat? <laughs> You're a terrible person. Why? You should never be allowed to own pets. Wreck. <laughs> um, so, Wreck is... I guess he's going to move up to here and see what just... Well, you know what? He's going to move up and just guard in case anything else is going to happen. Okay. And, uh, Why don't you... I mean, you said you're moving over here, right? So move over here. So... You totally see another one of those chaos dudes sitting over here looking smug as a motherfucker. There's also a giant whirling sandstorm. You hear like da 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 coming from all those singing crystals. By the way, Astro literally hates all of you at this point. It's it's not no. He just guy sees you come around the corner, Breck, and he's like, Sup, bro, chaos for life, right? You're totally joining Team Chaos. We're about to shut down the shield generators and flood this level with protean goodness. Chaos! We're going to shut down both sides. There's going to be a chaotic <laughs> war. <laughs> that is the best option, I have to say. We're just going to leave and watch the proxy war with popcorn. I yeah, think you guys are being more chaotic than actually siding with chaos. <laughs> I've been trying to side with law. That's why I'm trying to break the law one. And yet you're becoming more chaotic. Yeah. For the sake you of law. You really become as chaotic as you can be. For the sake All of right. law, it's very peculiar. No, it's actually yeah. becoming more We're chaotic. Weird. It's actually Anyways, you're walking so up it's going to become Brad. more Answer, chaotic than, than siding with the chaos. Breck, so, you're here. What are you doing? I moved. Um, I'm just going to wait for them. I'm just going to sit around for a round. I'm going to Excellent. ready an attack if something actually attacks me. All right, Aster. Are we still in combat? Yeah. I, I don't see why we wouldn't be. Gek is about to destroy the shield generator. 
Erebus is about to destroy the other shield generator. <laughs> How do you think this guy is going to feel when he finds out? And who knows? Maybe one of you is just like, I Truly fucking chaotic. door and stop one of the other party members. Or I have no idea. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Animal Companions, now. <laughs> wow. Wow. Battle Cat isn't even dead yet, and you're, like, fucking going through the Encyclopedia Animilica. <laughs> Battle Cat's like, why don't you just save me by getting my body recovered and raise deading me? And you're like, fuck it. I'm just gonna get a new one for free. <laughs> yeah, but something more interesting than a tiger. Grim says the exact same thing, except he's a pebble, so... <laughs> no, I'm recovering. It's the last thing that Pep thought is own now, not again. It's Battle Cat's fault. Okay, Aster, you're Stop charging leaving. around the corner with your... I'm going towards this, let's see, this area. Yep, Erebus, you're up. Yeah, I'm gonna double move to here. Okay, Thrain, you make it. By the way, Scrims is gone. He will be sorely missed. Alright, Thrain, you make it to the lip. Battle Cat disappears in like a round or two. This guy's mm -hmm. like, hey, bro, sorely what's missed. up? What's up? How's it going, bro? Him. You ready okay. to open these chaos doors, bro? Um, we plan to open these doors eventually. Like, excellent. As soon as we do, we're going to flood the area with chaos. Right, it's you not sure what to expect. And battle cat. So let me ask, Breck, when this guy moved within your lance range, not only did it provoke, but did it set off your ready to action? You said you were guarding the area, right? Um, <laughs> I said I was uh, coming to observe, and it was ready to action if something attacked me. Oh, I see. All right, Gekido. All right, uh, take full attack on this skull thing. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, I don't know. Go ahead, throw it out. Uh, I will be attacking it defensively with expertise because I have no idea what to be expected for. Okay. All right, you destroy it. Wreck. Yes. You're up. <sighs> hmm. So, he's going to stall for time for a bit, I think. Um, he's going to uh, five foot step back and he's going to ask uh, this thing what its uh, purpose around here is. He's like, whoa, bro, why are you taking a step back, bro? My Personal purpose space. here is to, like, guard. Me and that other Colyura you just killed, we were, like, totally supposed to sit here and just watch each other and make sure no one did anything. It's like the classic Oni-Kami situation where only an outsider to the situation can break the deadlock, bro. Thanks to you, you just ended the Civil War, and the South just won. <laughs> <laughs> not slavers. We're not slavers. We're about freedom and states' rights, bro. Chaos. So aren't they the North? Aren't they the good guys? I don't... No. So to say There's once no I was good, good or evil. Here. They're law and chaos. Yeah. Yes. So stop trying to make it bad. I'm not making it bad. <laughs> That's kind of nationalist to say the South were the bad guys. There, yeah, there yeah, was yeah. a lot going on with the Civil War. Not that it wasn't about slavery, but there were also other issues. Anything else, yeah. Brick? Anything else? Yeah, Brick. Anything else? Thank you, Assistant GM Kurama. Um, <laughs> I will uh, yell back and say, are you guys good back there? Yeah, we just killed these two guys who tried to help us do what we wanted to do. So he's like, get "Oh, hey, you killed my brothers because I just heard you admit to that." I, I, I have I'm, authoritative I'm command to I'm not uh, even in range, range. Oh, okay. and uh, Gek. Um, no, just, just you guys yourself. might want to come over and join me here. Just, just yourself. Yeah, I'm just trying to make <laughs> these people feel guilty. All right, Aster. Battle cast one, one round away from no disappearing. Guilt. You're up. All right. Change then. And open that door. Uh, okay. You open the door. Inside, there are two floating robots. As soon as you open the door, they're like, alert, alert, intruder, I alert, intruder, alert. 
There we go. All right, then. Flame strike, then. Oh. So, casting defensively, since you're next to one. They're flat-footed. You just showed up. Oh, never mind. They're mechanical eyeballs with wings and arms. You're flame striking them. Go ahead. Just let me find the thing. All right, I got it. Do they have S R? I do. I don't think you can fail. You didn't. You actually couldn't fail. Sure, go um. ahead. Okay, you kill both of them, but they begin immediately regenerating. I'm going to smack them with the cast <clears throat> the line weapon and just smack them. Well, until I mean, you have to make attack rolls against them, so you you don't have time to do that this round. You sure. both open a door and flame struck. So let me see just how low they are while they regenerate. They are at minus something I can't see out loud. <clears throat> but probably quite a bit. You can believe what you want to believe. You can dance if you want to. And leave your friends behind. You can dance. Because if your friends don't dance. dance, and if they don't dance, there are no friends of mine. I can dance. I can dance. Oh, Everybody's taking a chance. Or something. Aster. No, wait. Erebus. I'm going to double move to here. Okay. You double move to the doors. Drain. All right, am I up finally? Yep. Okay. Uh... You felt yourself sliding into the infinite chaos of the universe, but... You yeah, and I... How, together. how far can I fly in around? 50 Forward? Feet. 50 feet? Okay. 60. 60. 60, okay, so can I fly like to here? I forgot, uh, ruler. I have no idea where you are. 25, here. Where did 30, go? okay. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, you fly. I'm guessing Breck is still trying to kill this guy, right? This one? He's been hold. I've been holding them off while I've been waiting for you guys to get back. Okay. Well, he walks around Breck. Uh, then I will attack. <laughs> Why? 